Good afternoon, class. This will be our first lesson for our subject, uh, business math, and uh, our first topic, which is today, is about fractions, decimals, and percentage. Before we proceed with our uh, topic, allow me to share you a short story. Let's take a look. This is the story of us. So here it goes. We are four siblings in the house and we decided to buy a pizza to satisfy our cravings. Our mother gave us 100 pesos and the price of the pizza is 69 pesos and 50 centavos. Our youngest brother asks about how to divide the pizza among us four. How can we do it? Since the money came from our mother, she told me to record it in her notebook, the cost of the pizza, and the change from 100 pesos. How can I write it? Now that we are done eating our pizza, we decided that our other merienda to give it to our pet dog. However, our pet dog did not consume all of the food we gave her. How can we measure the consumed food? E, kung naintindihan nyo, class, yung ating uh, maikling kwento, no? uh, sa maikling kwento na yan, mapapansin ninyo na merong parts na kung saan makikita natin ang fractions, decimals, at percentages. So, after going through this module, you are expected to express fractions to decimals and percent forms, decimals to fractions and percent forms, and then percent to fractions and decimal forms. So, as we can see in this picture, no, uh, for example, the subtraction, no? uh, there is one thing, a uh, one uh, circular object. There are parts of it. No? Hinati-hati sila according to, to parts. No? Kung makikita nyo, no? there is one fourth, there is one half, there is one fifth. Okay? So, decimal, uh, sa decimal uh, picture naman, makikita nyo, how do we represent decimals? This is in numbers. Okay, at sa percentage naman, para ding fraction yan, part of a whole. Okay, but this time, it is represented by a percentage. Now, there are rules to consider when we convert one to other or one to another. Okay? So, but be, before we proceed with those rules, Okay, uh, please answer this question in the comment section after this video. Okay, and that's below this video uh, recording. Please write your answers on this question. When do we use fractions, decimals, and percentage in our daily life? Alright, so again, please write your answer below this video lesson which is in the comment section now let us proceed with the rules of conversion okay the first one converting fraction to decimal and percent forms okay class no um i know na ito ay itong topic natin ngayon ay alam ninyo na kasi ito naman ay na discuss na sa inyo noong kayo ay grade 12 or junior high school so, uh, it is a sort of a little review na lang sa atin. Okay? So, step one. Change the fraction to decimal by simply performing division. Okay? That is from to, to convert fraction to decimal. Then, step two. Move the decimal point to two places to the right. Then, step three. Affix the percent sign to convert it from decimal 
2%. Now, let us give an example. Okay? The example is 2 fifth. This is a fraction. And then, we will convert it to first decimal and then to percent. So, here are the steps. The first one, change the fraction to decimal by simply performing division. Therefore, ang gagawin natin class ay 2 divided by 5. So, ganun lang. At we will arrive with the answer 0.4. Okay? Now, the second step, move the decimal point two places to the right. So, yung 0.4, syempre, i-move natin ng dalawang beses papunta sa kanan. So, magiging 40 siya kasi kailangan mo siyang kailangan mong magdagdag ng 0 para ma-move mo si decimal point ng dalawang beses. And then, you have that 40. Now, let's affix the percent sign which is now 40%. So, that's it. Ganun lang siya kasimple class. Okay? So, um, on examples number 2 and number 3, we have the same step. Okay? So, from 5, 16, syempre, divide mo siya. Ang sagot ay 0.3125. Tapos, move natin to the right dalawang beses. So, magiging 31.25% kapag nilagay na natin yung percentage sign. And number 3, from 310, naging 0.3 at naging 30%. So, ganun lang siya ka-easy, guys. ba? Ganun lang kadali yung conversion niya from fraction to decimal and percent forms. Let's proceed to converting decimal to fraction forms. Okay, step 1, move the decimal point two places to the right. So, nadaanan na rin natin yung nauna, di ba? Nadaanan na rin natin kasi dito nagsimula na siya sa decimal. Okay? So, parang nabawasan na lang tayo ng step. Okay. Step 2. Place the denominator of the resulting number in multiples of 10. That is 10, 100, 1,000. Then, step 3. Reduce the fraction to lowest term. So, example, guys. Okay? We have... 0.65. So, let's move the decimal point two places to the right. So, yung 0.65 magiging 65. And then, place a denominator of the resulting number in multiple of 100. Bakit siya 100? Kasi, yung 65 ay may dalawang digit. Therefore, we need uh, 100 kasi may dalawa siyang 0. So, isang digit, isang zero. Okay? Kaya, 65 over 100. Now, let's choose uh, what we call this the greatest common factor. Okay? 65 divided by 5. Tapos yung 100 divided by 5. Bakit 5? Kasi ito yung pinakamataas na po pwede natin eh, divide pa yung 65 at saka yung 100. Okay? Um... So, yeah, no? 65 divided by 5, tapos yung 100 divided by 5 then Now, ang sagot dyan ay 12 or 13 over 20. Okay. So, yun na yung ating aim, di ba? Fraction form na siya. Mula dun sa 0.65, naging 13 over 20 na siya. Same as true with our examples 2 and 3. Okay, same process lang din. Okay, 0 0.175. So, tatlong digit yan. Three decimal digits. Therefore, 1,000 yung, yung dapat nating maging uh, uh, ilalagay na ano, denominator. And then, 25 naman yung ating, uh, doon natin sila i-divide. No? 175 divided by 25. 1,000 divided by 25. So, ang answer ay 7 over 20. Okay, the number 3, 0.0242. Okay, yung ating decimal uh, places ay ilan? Apat. Okay, eh, pero ang una ay 0. No, sa, alam naman natin guys, yung rule dyan, di ba? 
sa decimal place, significant number pati ang zero kasi nasa loob siya dahil, oh, dahil itong zero ay after the decimal, po, decimal point. So, yan. Ang uh, magiging denominator natin ay 1,000 or 10,000. Okay? Dahil 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 ang kanyang digits. Therefore, 242 divided by 2, 2 ang ating kinuang ano, greatest common factor. Okay? 10,000 divided by 2. So, 121 over 5,000. Okay, kasi yung nagkaroon ng butal dun sa 120 eh, 121. Diba kung 120 yan, pwede pa natin i-lowest term pa yan. Pero uh, hindi na kasi 121 siya. Now, let's proceed with converting percent to decimal. Okay, the first one. Remove the percent sign. Step 2. Move the decimal point two places to the left. Okay. This time, guys, pabalik naman tayo. Okay. Ngayon, ang una natin, example, uh, uh, yung given natin ay in a percentage form na. So, ang target natin ay makonvert siya into decimal. So, uh, Ang procedure, well, balik tad. No, pabalik. Okay, 23%, syempre, to remove the percent sign. Ilipat natin yung decimal point pakaliwa. Dalawang beses. Move the decimal point two places to the left. Ganun lang ka-easy. Diba? So, 23% naging 0.23. So, example number 2, 57.2%. So, ganun din. Move the decimal point to the left. Therefore, magiging 0 0.572. And, yung 0 0.05, ganun din. No? Lipat natin, pakaliwa, dalawang beses. Therefore, yung 0.05% uh, magiging 0.0005. Nakuha ba natin, class? And, pang-apat, converting percent to fraction. Step 1, remove the percent sign. Step 2, place a denominator of the resulting number in multiples of 10. Okay, so pwedeng 10, 100, 1,000, etc. Step 3. Reduce the fraction to lowest term. So decimal to fraction yan. Ha? Tignan natin ang example. Sa una, we have 25%. So yung 25%, remove natin ang percent sign. So, naging 25. So, mag-place tayo ng 100 as denominator. So, 25 over 100. And then, we select 5 as the greatest common factor. So, 25 divided by 5 over 100 divided by 5. Kasi so, ganun siya. So, the, reduce the lowest fraction to lowest term. Ang sagot ay one-fourth. So, that's easy, class. No? Ganun lang siya kadali. And example number two is 53%. Okay? So, 53 over 100. Ito na yung pinaka-lowest term. Okay? Pangatlo, 12.5% equals okay, 125. Okay? Kasi Diba? Nilipat natin yung decimal point dalawang beses pakaliwa. So, 125 tas naging ang oh, ang ang uh, uh, did, ang divisor niya ay 1000. So, 125 over 1000. 
And then, syempre, i-divide natin silang dalawa sa 125. Okay? So, ang sagot ay 1.8. Ito na yung lowest term. Okay? So, that is converting percent to fraction. Okay. So, ipaalala ko, class, no? Uh, itong question natin for the day, balikan natin. When do we use fractions, decimals, and percentage in our daily life? Okay? So, to give you a hint, okay? Balikan natin yung kwento natin. Dito sa ating kwento, di ba? Paano lalabas dito ang fraction? Okay. Sa ang part ng kwento natin, lalabas o may papakita ang fraction. Okay, ito yan. Diba? Our youngest brother asks about how to divide the pizza among us four. Therefore, guys, no, isang pizza yan, i-divide natin sa apat. Therefore, in fraction, ilang part, bawat isa. Okay? Therefore, no, yung bawat isa ay makakatanggap ng one-fourth part ng pizza. So, yun yung fraction. Okay. Ano naman yung decimal? Ito. Itong susunod, no? Yung tungkol dun sa pera, na Magkano yung pizza? 69.50. Paano mo siya i-re-record by number? Therefore, 69.5. Okay? Kasi usually, ang decimals, may gamit natin talaga sa pera. Yan. Kaperahan. And, tangatlo, yung percentage, nakita natin dito sa kwento, na hindi lahat ay na-consume ng aso, yung pagkain binigay sa kanya. Sabi, how can we measure na consume food? Okay, let us say, by observation, no? Masasabi natin, yung nakain niya ay maybe 50% lang, or 75% lang ang kanyang nakain kasi hindi naman 100%. Okay? So, paparo, paano din natin sasabihin sa fraction yan? Siyempre, no? 50% is one half or 0.5 naman sa decimal. 75% is ano? 3 fourths or 0.75. So, I hope guys, no, sa inyong pang-araw-araw na buhay, you, you, we can use fractions. Okay? So, please write your answers in the comment section below. And then, after our video lesson, please proceed with your Google Classroom or Classwork for your first evaluation this has been your subject teacher for business math i am sir levy galon good afternoon